So here we have some examples, and what we're going to do is we're going to review properties that justify these examples. So our first one is x plus 5 equals 5 plus x. That's the cumulative property of addition. No matter what order you add anything in, it's going to turn out to be the same sum. Um, quantity 2 plus x plus y equals 2 plus the quantity x plus y, associative property of addition. 6 times the quantity x plus 3 equals 6x plus 18. That's a distributive property. If you were to multiply 6x or 6 times x plus 3, well, 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times 3 is 18, so 6x plus 18. We have the additive inverse property, which is 2 plus negative 2 equals 0. You add the inverse of any number, you get this, you get uh, equals 0. So this could be negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. 3 times 1 third equals 1, the multiplicative inverse property. If you were to multiply 3 times 1 third, you get 3 over 3. 3 over 3 equals 1. Uh, quantity 2 plus 0 plus 3 equals 2 plus 3. 0 is the identity element for addition. And then down here we have quantity 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 3 plus the quantity 2 plus 4. And quantity x plus 2 plus y equals the quantity x plus y plus 2. That's the computative and associative properties of addition.